So yeah, we back to uh, this summertime weather. And uh, the dogs having heat stroke. So as you can see, uh, they got plenty of shade, plenty of water, plenty of shade, plenty of water. Uh, the sun actually comes towards the back. So they protect it, but even with that, I've learned and found out uh, just because they got water and they in the shade does not mean that they can't have a heat stroke. The humidity, I'm in North Carolina, so the humidity is crazy. Um, and yeah, man, y'all gotta be careful. See, we got Icy. As you can see, her muzzle is way shorter than uh, Lulu's. She got her little allergies going on. We just took her to the vet. But um, as you can see, they both just came out of heat. Uh, Lulu done. I'm not breeding her no more. But uh, Icy, we just took her to crypto. And, uh, on July the 3rd, right before. So I drove all the way to Ohio from the from North Carolina to breed her with uh, Crypto the Merle. So I'm sure we're gonna have some puppies. And uh, Crypto is a grand champion, the first grand champion Merle. Come here, Ice. But uh, as y'all as can see, she was way shorter than him. And uh, he's an amazing dog. So we're gonna have some Merles on the yard. Uh, and Icy is a Lulu granddaughter. So that's Lulu. That's her granddaughter. Uh, like I said, you breed, you start off with something, and then you get what you want. So, coming from Lulu, as y'all can see from the earlier videos, if y'all haven't tuned in. Come here, Ice. She ready to go in the garage, because she already know. You get something like this, little micro girl. But she's short, wide. As you can see, she breathing hard just from that already. So, it's time for her to go in. So yeah, her pups, uh, her pups gonna start at around eight, eight thousand somewhere around there, depending on how many she have, what color. She's a uh, Paul by um, Try, by Paul Try. What is it called? Paul Paul by Try, I believe. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. But uh, Pie Ball Try, I think that's what it is. So and he's a, uh, um, come on. Come on. He is a, uh, he's a, a Merle try. <clears throat> so he throw tries also. So we're gonna get a lot of tries, a lot of Merles out this litter. But yeah, it's time to take him in. Come on. She already gonna know where to go. Come on. Go. Uh -uh. Come on. Go. So she gonna be in here for the day, tucked away, because the muzzles, they do make a difference. As you can see, Lulu got a longer muzzle. Get out my shoes. Lulu, so her muzzle is longer, uh, so she gonna be able to, to withstand a little more heat, but I still check on her four times out of the day. Uh, today gonna be pretty cool. Come on, get over here, come on. Hard at it now. Come on. So I give him fresh water four times out of the day. Uh, if the humidity get too much, then yeah, I might take her in into in, in the garage also. But um, she's pretty much straight. Like I said, her muzzle is a little longer than icy. So come on. But yeah, uh, that heat. Gotta keep the heat away from these dogs. So. Gotta keep the heat away. Heat stroke is real. And then you can have uh, one of your best bulls die. I don't care if they in shade. I don't care if they got plenty enough water. Come on, Lulu, come on. It doesn't even matter when it comes to this heat. It's the humidity that kills them. So I done seen um, on a Facebook forum, on the bully pages and stuff like that, 
where a lot of them see as you can see the sun hits the back of this all day long so they don't really get no sun unless it's about right now early in the morning about nine o'clock and that's much sun they're gonna get come on let's go hey come on see she being hard-headed now as they all do go yeah. see she, she knows she in trouble but uh got plenty of water plenty of shade she go back in there i got a fan two fans set up back there just to blow around the water uh blow around the uh the heat back there and i got a, a mist set up inside of here for them but yeah heat exhaustion uh yeah, don't let these dogs overheat. Don't let them overheat, man. It's easy for them to do. And once they start, if you don't know what you're doing, uh, that's it, you know.